I can say the fastest though. Campfire. Song. All right, boys. This is your Short first dog. full day. What? Say hi. Is this going on YouTube? Oh. It's a doggy. Is this going on YouTube? Doggy, go fast. Doggy. It will. Oh, I love your songs. Of course. Dustin, say hi to mom. It was a beautiful sunny day, and in the meadow were four <laughs> lovely blue flowers. They had pistols raised up to the sun, and they had stamens full of pollen. And they were swaying in the breeze, happy to be flowers. in the distance came a bee! <laughs> and the bee, not yet, and the bee was hungry! This bee was ready to find some nectar. So the bee flew up to the first blue flower. And the bee sipped the nectar, and as he was sipping the nectar, he got pollen all over him, and he gathered the pollen. <laughs> and then he sipped the nectar, he sipped the nectar, and then he got bored and he flew away. Oh no no. <laughs> fly away. Fly away. Fly away. Fly away. Yeah. And then five seconds later, the bee was starving again. So he flew up to another beautiful blue flower. And as he was eating the nectar, he was such a messy eater that he got pollen all over the pistol of that flower. He got pollen all over the pistol of the flower. And he was so, so, so messy that he got the new pollen from the stamen all over him. And then he was full, and he flew away. And then five seconds later, he was hungry again. And so he went to a new blue flower. And as he was gorging himself on the nectar, he got the pollen from his body all over the pistol of this flower. And as he was getting it all over the pistol, he was gathering more pollen from the stamen. It was just a mess. Pollen was flying <laughs> everywhere. And then he was feeling full and he flew away. <laughs> but then he realized that he actually was full. And so he flew all the way back to his hive and he took a nap. Where? <laughs> <laughs> and cut. All right, give it up. going across the crease until the four-spotted pink cricket came.
we're camouflage. We're also better than them because we're nocturnal. And they're just green, but we're all sorts of colors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You know, we have no wings. We have four wings. We can use two of them to fly and two of them to make music. Yes, 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 yes. Hi, my name is Dustin, and my favorite memory was touching the banana slug. Yes! <laughs> uh, my name is Joseph, and my favorite memory was uh, skit night. Yes! <laughs> Hello, my name is Anthony, and my favorite memory was Gaga Ball. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> my name is Bernard, and I'm in Jumpo's group. And my favorite memory is kissing the banana slug. Yes! My name is Erin. My favorite memory is my night. Yes! Hey, move. My name is Sophia, and my favorite memory is. 
Yes. 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 My name is Francesca, and my favorite memory about our outdoor school was singing with everyone at campfire. Yes. Yes. My name is Bree, and I like kissing the banana squash on the Yes. yes. Yes! yes. <laughs> my name is Alistair, and my favorite memory was at the beach when I was digging in the sand for sand crabs. Yes! yes. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tiger Lily, and my favorite memory at out outdoor school was going to the tide pool. Yes! yes. My name is Hawkeye, and my group was with Snail. Snail was awesome. Um, my favorite memory was pretty much what Principal Church said in the beginning was watching two schools become one school. And I really enjoyed everything about outdoor school. And fortunately, I don't, don't want to get emotional, but I, I, I wish I could come back in the next few years. But, yeah, so. Thank I'll you. ask you. <laughs> yes! yes! Hi, my name is Hedgehog now. Um, and I was a Torx Tuesday's um, trail group. Thank you. And there are so many memories of this weekend. Really great group. My cabin mates were awesome team. And one of my favorite memories was our professor walk, where they all became professors and taught us so many things. And we saw um, a scorpion, and I kissed the banana star. Yes! yes! My name is Panther, and um, I was with Ringtone Snail Group. I think I have a couple memories. One is sitting with the students from St. Joachim's during dinner time and getting to know them, and they were really nice. And another thing was the first time our cabin got together on that really sleepy morning and got together and won the golden dustpan on the yeah. first morning. <laughs> yes. Yes. So my name is Badger. My name is Ohlone. And we, our trail group was Tortuga and Decay. And I think my most memorable experience was the hikes with you guys. The night hikes, watching you guys just have fun and learn new things. It was, it was a great experience and I'm glad we got to be part of that was awesome. I love the, the hike where we found a scorpion, mm -hmm. banana, slug, banana slug, and a rough skinned newt. newt. Ready? Yes! And I'm Michelle I'm in Ring Hills Tail Group. And besides the solo hike and watching every student in that group really take a chance and get through their fear, um, 
It was playing Uno in the cabin with the guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yes! yes. 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 So many memories. So many memories. Step right up. That is. Okay. You with us um, and thanks to the schools um, both schools for taking a chance it was great um, one of my favorite memories was going to the tide pools and um, walking around because I didn't have a trail group or really a cabin I got to stay with one cabin one night but I got to walk around and see different hikes different groups um, so I got to sort of see all of you which was great but the tide pools I really observed um, St. T's, hanging out with St. Joe Gums and saying, hey, look at this, look at this scene and come over here. And it was really our first day. And so that meant a lot to me that um, both groups were really mixing together and getting to know each other. So, but it was a great week and I think it was good. Yes! <laughs> I too want to thank Principal Church and the entire staff. It was a great, great week. You do a wonderful job empowering these children to be better stewards of God's creation. So thank you. It's special and important work. And my chaperones, I always get emotional because I'm so grateful. You know, you really are the eyes, the ears, and the hearts of every parent that can't be here. So thank you so much. And I always say, God will give you a just reward in heaven for this. <laughs> it's a tiring one, but it really is a heartwarming and heart-filling one. My favorite memory is definitely the um, night hike with Junko and uh, the moment where she asked us to gather in a circle and admit our fears. I think there's something special that happens when um, we peel off the layers and expose our vulnerabilities. And, um, trust is grown, relationships deepen, and I think with um, with that trust comes more productivity. And I'm looking forward to all kinds of productivity when we get back to school. No. That's my class of 2019. Yes! Now, we have one last class. Yes. If no one trails off, after that loud trip, yes. We may be able to use our coyote or deer ears, your choice, to listen for that yes resound off of the trees over there. Are you all ready? Yes. Yeah, you can get those, <laughs> those coyote okay. or deer ears ready on three, loud and short. Go. Two, three. Yes! yes! Oh, yes. That was epic. And with that, with that, I would like to invite Principal Tritt to the stage. Let's hear it one more time for Junko, everybody. Um, and I just want to, I want to first follow, um, follow up with what Miss Montgomery was saying about the chaperones. And, um, it's 
One of the hard things for us here at Outdoor School is when we say goodbye on this last day, we've been with you all week, we've gotten to know you, we really know what wonderful people and what wonderful children and students you are. And it's really hard for us to say goodbye and to send you home and to not know what's gonna come next and what you're going home and what you're gonna do and the people you're gonna see and if you're gonna have the experiences continue when you go home. And something that's really cool for us, especially this week with parent chaperones, is we see all of the people that love and care for you so deeply there. They love and care for you so much that they give up a week of their time, a week of their lives to come out here to outdoor school. So it makes saying goodbye, even though it's still hard, a little bit easier knowing that you have such incredible teachers, such incredible parents to go home to. So I wanna give one more huge round of applause to your parent chaperones. Who are so for us to say goodbye because we want you to stay and we want you to keep learning about the outdoors and learning about science and going on adventures and the hard, hardest part about leaving outdoor school is realizing that all the things that you did this week you can go home and keep doing those things those moments that Junko was talking about those moments where you have those realizations about things or those moments that make you stop and just wonder about the world those moments that make you curious and want to learn more. All those things that happened this week at outdoor school, those can happen back when you go home too. It's just up to you to recognize those moments. It's up to you to remember the things you did here and take the time when you're back at home to bring those moments back into your own lives, to slow down and find those realizations, to keep your eyes open and look for the things that make you curious or the things that make you wonder the things that give you awe at the world. And we have a tradition here at Outdoor School before you can graduate. We have a, and I'm gonna wait because I have a lot of time. We have a pledge that we have you say before you can officially graduate Outdoor School. And this pledge is very special. This pledge changes every single year. And the reason that it changes is because every year we have some people that are returning staff and they're the same people and we have new people that come on and every year we all sit down together and we think about what is important for us what we want our students to get when they leave outdoor school and we take those things and we turn them into a pledge that we have you say so this pledge you're about to say was written by the staff by the naturals by the people you've been hanging out with this week and it was the things that they want you to remember the things they want you to take home with you when you leave outdoor school. So in order to say this pledge, everybody needs to stand up, put your hand over your heart, and repeat after me. I stay true. Will never stop exploring. I see that everything on the earth is connected. And I will do my best to respect, conserve, and protect the planet. And I will do my best to excuse me. I will try and live with the earth. I will try to live with the earth. Not just on the earth. Not just on the earth. I know that it is okay to get dirty. I know that it is okay to get dirty. I will share adventures in the outdoors with my friends and family. I will share adventures in the outdoors with my friends and family. And I will work to create a community of love and acceptance. And I will work to create a I recognize the power of small, thoughtful actions. I recognize the power of small, thoughtful actions. And will strive to be a better citizen of the earth. And will strive to be a better citizen of the earth. Most importantly, I know that I matter. Most importantly, I know that I matter. And I challenge myself, I challenge myself to become the person that I want to be. To be done with the person that I want to be. Congratulations, your graduates are out there!
chaperones are hecatite. Aren't they hecatite, everybody? Oh my goodness. They are so hecatite, in fact, they're going to do one more thing for you before you leave. They are going to go load your luggage onto the bus. We're done. We're done. We're done. It's already loaded. It's already loaded. It's already loaded. It's already loaded. Two minutes. No, the, the other bus is not here yet for them. It's done. Let's go help out St. Yeah. Teresa. Same time we've got to see the last little bit to talk about here. Hold on, folks. Hold on. Uh, Banana! Uh, uh.